How to print and assemble your PDF Etsy sewing patterns. First, open your pattern on a computer. For each pattern, you'll receive at least four different files, and I can't guarantee what order they will end up in if they look like this on your computer, but it's important to look at the title to be able to tell which one that you need to print. So the A0 file, that is for printing at a copy shop, and it comes on usually one or two big pieces of paper, so you don't have to piece anything together. There's also the projector file, which is not made to be printed. It's for people who use projectors to throw their patterns onto fabric. There's the instructions, which are also not really designed to be printed because there are a lot of photos in them. And then there is the PDF file that is just the plain PDF, and that is the one that you can print from a home computer. Your pattern should open in Adobe Reader, which is free, and should look like this. If you are printing a pattern that has more than one size, you can use the Layers feature if you would like to print just the size that you need. So click on that stack of papers icon and then next to each size that you don't want, click on the I icon and those sizes will disappear. So all you have left is just the size that you want and it'll print out like that and it will definitely make piecing it and taping it together a lot easier. Print your item, be sure and check actual size and not fit so that your pattern prints correctly. Once it's printed, you can test the print by measuring the one inch box on the printed page. If your box prints too small or too large, you can tweak your print settings. This time when you go to print, instead of choosing actual size, choose custom scale. If the box printed too small, change the scale of your print to slightly above 100%. If it was too big, make the scale smaller, such as 97%. Print just the first page and test the box again. If you have it correct this time, print the entire pattern at that scale. To assemble your pattern, look for the triangles with the numbers to help you see which pages should match together. Trim off the bottom border, then line up two matching triangles. Use tape or a glue stick to join the pieces. Once all the pieces are correctly joined, cut out the pattern. If it is not one size, such as this pattern, follow the colored guides to cut out just the size that you need. I like to store all of my patterns in these cheap plastic envelopes with a sticker label. Then I put all of these envelopes in this organizing rack that I got from Ikea. I love how accessible they are like this.